1954, Tokyo, Japan. Two thousand four, London, England. Two thousand eight, New York, USA. Two thousand eighteen, Saint David, Arizona. We dropped the hard drive. Really bad things. I think we knocked this thing out of where it's supposed to be. But vertically, this arm here got moved on this axis right here. Oh my god, that's so horrible. <laughs> Worst things have happened, but not many. <laughs> we just became Bussy McBusted Face. Oh, God, what a loss. What a loss. Like, we lost all the original footage for the, um, for most of the last video. We lost all our original videos, but, I mean, we have all the YouTube videos that are up so it's not like we lost those but we lost this last episode vlog 10 part one which was the fabrication of the waldos is it the logical next step for converting a bus to an rv for us was to replace the windows we didn't want with walls so there's still the hole where the old windows went we needed to create something for that and that gave birth to these right here um some of the footage we lost on our horrible, horrible hard drive loss <laughs> was the creation of these right here. So I kind of wanted to go over what we did real quick so that you guys can kind of be up to date and have an idea of what we did. If this is something you want to do, it might work on your bus. I don't know. But this here is what we created, and we did that with our fancy new uh, sheet metal brake. And this allows us to bend sheet metal to... Uh, to our specification. So in this case, we basically created these two uh, little lips right here. They're 3 16 inches from here to the to the top of this edge here. And that presses it against the side wall, the side pillars of the windows. And then we bent these right here to interface with the top and the bottom of the window. And then we created a little jig so that we could drill these holes in both sides. And that allows us to put screws into the metal below and the metal above in the window. So essentially, that's what we did. This is how we're turning windows into Waldos. We finally got through all the bad weather we were having. We had a whole bunch of rain and then it was freezing and then it snowed in Arizona. So we've got a break in the weather here. The sun's out. It's still a little chilly, but uh, we're going to paint these things today. So uh, we got to clean them, degrease them one more time because you just get one shot at this. I keep saying that, but it's so important. If you just like put my fingerprints on it just like that, now there's fingerprints on this thing. What else my fingers got on here? Could make the paint ruin the paint. So gloves, we're going to clean them all off with degreaser again. And then um, we're going to spray them. It's going to be awesome. Today's the day. We're going to put some primer on it. And then we're going to start installing these things. And it's going to be pretty awesome.
Well, damn the luck. Uh, nuclear attack while I'm painting. I mean, I can't stop right in the middle of this. So the nuclear test is going to have to wait. Another day, another project that took way longer than it should have. <laughs> it's just so big. So today we have to install the Waldos. This is the first big one. We've never put one in yet with butyl tape, so <clears throat> hopefully it goes as good as I hope it does. All right. Are you for reals? Better day. We almost got the first Waldo in and you know, we had thought about this. We ran into this. The, these big bends that are here and here add a ton of structural support to this piece of metal. These bends along these edges here are only 3 16 and they're really not giving the structural support we need. And though I push it in and I can make that uh, the light go away around the sides, it's not providing enough. I don't know, hon. Look. It's still a light coming through even when I do this. Oh my god, you're right. Let me see. It's being very stubborn with from what we wanted it to do. I think the rigidity of these windows and the thickness of them does not like this does not compete with this this is layers of metal keeping it straight you know what i mean yep. but this isn't unresolvable we can come up with a fix for this we just have to figure out what it is right and for you guys watching at home this is an installed window and there's there's a piece of aluminum about this wide right here and it just creates this incredible rigidity here. So when we pushed it in, you know, it was just smashing butyl tape and it was powerful. Here you can see the you can see the light coming through, I'm sure. And that's what we run into. And we knew we were gonna get something like that, but we didn't know it was gonna be this extreme. So um, I think we're gonna have to modify this design. That's just not gonna that's that's not gonna hold water, <laughs> literally. So that's where we're at, keeping it real. Back to the drawing board. <sighs> it's the one o'clock Wednesday alarm. <laughs> <laughs> 